Between Zero Point and the main building of the novitiate of Jesuits four miles away was a hill which served to lessen the intensity of the blast. Yet despite this protection, all the windows were shattered and part of the wall blown in. The chapel, which is the left wing of the building, is built of timber with plaster walls. The glass in the doors of the main entrance foyer were shattered and the paneled ceiling was blown loose by the force of the explosion occurring four miles away. A group of Jesuits who were teaching in Hiroshima witnessed and survived the explosion. One of them has provided an eyewitness account. I am Father John Zenus, professor of philosophy at the Catholic University of Tokyo. It is on the management of the Jesuit Fathers. Uh, what were you doing in Hiroshima at the time of the explosion? Well, my philosophical class was evacuated from Tokyo to Hiroshima about five months ago. And I was uh, staying with my class uh, at a house of studies at the outskirts of the city of Hiroshima. Uh, could you describe exactly what happened in the morning of August the 6th? I was in my room, which uh, faces the valley, and suddenly I saw a light, like magnesium light, flashlight, which uh, filled the whole valley and looking out of my window to find out the reason for this peculiar phenomena, I saw nothing besides this light, and turning uh, uh, from the window to the door of my room, I heard a crash. It may, be, may have been 10 seconds uh, after seeing the light, the flashlight, and immediately I was covered with splinters of the window frames and glass sticking uh, into the walls and actually my flesh itself. After a while, we saw a procession of people coming from the outskirts of the city up the valley. Uh, many of them, most of them, were wounded, especially the parts of the body which were not covered by uh, clothes, like hands, feet, uh, back. They came up to a house and we did what we could, but uh, there were no uh, possibility to give uh, much of aid. Uh, what is your opinion as to the story that the ruins of the city emit a deadly rain? Well, I think that it's just a rumor. Because I myself and uh, uh, others of us have worked in the city itself immediately after the explosion for several hours, and we felt no ill effect at all. It seems log logical to me that he who supports total war in principle cannot complain of a war against civilians. The crux of the matter is whether total war in its present form is justifiable even when it serves a just, a just purpose. Does it not have material and spiritual evil as its consequences which far exceed whatever the good that might result? When will our moralists give us a clear answer to this question?